Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this week's video, I'm talking about the goddess Lakshmi. She is from the Hindu tradition and here she is. She's very lovely and she has been very generous with me and I hope that she will be with you as well. So I'm going to be talking a little bit more about Lakshmi as I create an artwork on a wood panel. It's a mixed media art piece. It will probably take me two, possibly three weeks to create it. So this is part one of a part two or part three video series on Lakshmi. I have a lot to say about her and mainly because she's amazing. And I hope that you will feel inspired by her as well. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. And if you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So after five years of actively working with the goddesses Kali, Lakshmi, Sarasvati, and the god Ganesh, who is the remover of obstacles, I formed a relationship with them that I find very rewarding. This week I'm sharing a small glimpse into what it looks and feels like inviting the goddess Lakshmi's energy into my life. The goddess Lakshmi represents wealth, beauty, and prosperity. And many people equate her with the word abundance, but I really feel that in our Western culture, that association leads more towards materialism and is not entirely in the spirit of what Lakshmi represents. Not that materialism is a bad thing. I'm not saying it with any kind of judgment. I believe Lakshmi asks us to see our own inner wealth and beauty as a gateway to seeing the wealth and beauty reflected in one's life experience. So let me explain. Sometimes seeing our inner good is easier said than done. For example, you can invite Lakshmi into your life, ask her for money, and she'll inspire you to do things like start a cake business that you always dreamed of, or a landscape business, or she may even ask you to, or inspire you to volunteer somewhere. Then it's up to each of us to take the next steps. But it often happens that we get in our own way and we don't take those steps. You might say you don't have what it takes or you don't have the money to get started, but that's what Lakshmi is saying, that you do have the courage and resources in you and that's why she's inspiring you. And that is, part of the process with her is starting to believe and trust in yourself and that you do have those resources inside. And then by doing that first, life will then reflect the opportunities and possibilities that will open doors for you. I find that her energy is reciprocated so much more if I am aware and in gratitude for what is around me. And it can be as simple as sitting in a room in your house and appreciating the good that's around you. In the small room that I'm sitting in, I'm on a comfortable couch. I'm in a warm house with a cozy robe that I love. I'm looking at beautiful art that inspires me. And there's a bookcase full of books that have helped me in some way or taken my imagination on some kind of adventure. And yes, while all these are material things that I'm grateful for and I appreciate, what's most important is the feeling that comes from inside of feeling fulfilled right where I am. Lakshmi energy is not about what you have. So it's just knowing that you have a privileged existence with all the good that life is already providing for you. And you can take a big breath of gratitude for it. And you know that with every fiber of your being that there is no end or even limits to the good that is coming even more in your life. So Lakshmi energy also increases your state of trust. And it's not like putting faith in an external deity. That's not what gods and goddesses of the Hindu tradition symbolize. They symbolize qualities that we already possess inside of ourselves. Everyone does. We can own our goodness and we can own our generosity and honor the good things like kindness and a sense of humor and loyalty and our own creativity. And by doing this, then we can enter more fully into a state of our own worthiness, which feels more like grace shining from within. And it emanates from the inside and pours out into each of our life experiences so that everything feels like a blessing. 
For me personally, Lakshmi is very playful. I can itemize the details of my week because even something as routine, but I won't, I'll spare you. Like even something as routine as brushing my teeth can feel incredible. But I will give you highlights about Lakshmi in action. So she helps me enjoy many more moments than I have in the past. Like with this painting that you're seeing me, that you're seeing unfold here on this video, I have to move slow in order to be in tune with her guidance because she's, you know, a feminine energy. She's not about doing in the sense of, oh, I have to get this done. You know, I have a deadline to meet. For her, everything is abundant, including time. So what she wants me to do is be very present and in tune with everything I'm doing. So I'm receiving the joy that comes from the creating. This week, she had me taking notice of the color pink. In my life, that's her color. We made a cozy blanket. We didn't have a pattern. I got a visual hit and it needed to be soft, fuzzy, and quilterly because I love quilts. So she's very in tune with what it is that one loves. And so inspiration then is received on a very personal level. It's made especially for you. I'm watching The Great British Baking Show and I am super inspired now to bake a pink cake. And this is Lakshmi in her playful state. You know, she gives me this inspired idea. Wouldn't it be fun to make a pink cake? I get excited. And then the next idea I get is we need a fun mixing bowl. That's how inspiration works. That's how her energy works. She's abundant. So she just keeps giving more and more. The truth is I like to spend my money, any extra money on art supplies. So. And I'm sort of having this inner dialogue as I'm driving to the grocery store and it's pouring rain and I park the car and the first step out of the car, there are two $20 bills at my feet. And I'm serious about that, you guys. I can't make this stuff up. So I just laugh and I thank Lakshmi for the soggy fun money. And that day, because there are all these other voices like, oh, I should apply the $40 to the food I'm about to buy. But instead, I pause, I tune in, and I get this little message of, you know, wouldn't it be fun to go to that store we love in Oregon City? And it's not that I have any idea, you know, there are no guarantees that there's gonna be something in my price range that I like, but it's leaning into the possibility and trusting the unknown. And of course, there I am looking at, you know, expensive Pyrex bowls that, you know, are beyond the $40 that are super cool, but I'm not gonna spend that. So I'm coming around the corner and on the floor, right in front of me is this mixing bowl that is one of my favorite colors. And that is the one that we buy. And then we went to Michael's for two small round cake pans and I, with coupons, I still had over $3 and change left over. And I hear myself, you know, I'm saying we, as in Lakshmi and I went to the antique store and then we went to Michael's. And no, she's not a real person, but her energy definitely feels very much alive and inside when I've asked for her influence. And you can do the same. So I can't emphasize enough though that it's not about the money. Lakshmi wants us to make sure that we know that whether we have a little or a lot of money, it doesn't define our inherent worth. So our job is really to recognize our inherent worth and value and that life will provide what we need. It doesn't mean that we don't work, but Lakshmi, if you invite her into your life experience, will want you to be happy doing whatever you do. And so, and she will help build your life so that it supports what it is that you need. And inner wealth will translate to outer wealth in whatever way is most meaningful to your soul and most beneficial to your true nature. Stay tuned for more Lakshmi, and I'm excited to see what surprises she has in store for this upcoming week. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great rest of your week.